Preliminary English Test Listening There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. Where does the man think he last saw his keys? Hiya. I've just got into work and realised I don't have my house keys in my pocket. Could you have a look to see if you can find them? The last thing I remember is putting them on the kitchen table when I was having breakfast, but I'm sure I picked them up. I sometimes leave them on the bed while I'm getting ready. Or maybe they fell out of my pocket and they're on the chair. Call me back if you find them. Now listen again. Hiya. I've just got into work and realised I don't have my house keys in my pocket. Could you have a look to see if you can find them? The last thing I remember is putting them on the kitchen table when I was having breakfast, but I'm sure I picked them up. I sometimes leave them on the bed while I'm getting ready, or maybe they fell out of my pocket and they're on the chair. Call me back if you find them. 2. What does the man want to eat more of? I'm going to start being more careful about what I eat. That's good to hear. You know how much I love cheese. It's delicious, but not exactly healthy. I keep telling you to eat more fruit. We buy it each week and it never gets eaten. I know. I'll start taking an apple to work every day, I think. And I might try to reduce the amount of bread I eat, too. That will be a good start, at least. Now listen again. I'm going to start being more careful about what I eat. That's good to hear. You know how much I love cheese. It's delicious, but not exactly healthy. I keep telling you to eat more fruit. We buy it each week and it never gets eaten. I know. I'll start taking an apple to work every day, I think. And I might try to reduce the amount of bread I eat, too. That will be a good start, at least. 3. What is the woman going to do next Wednesday? I hear you've got a day's holiday next Wednesday. I was wondering whether you fancied a game of tennis. I'm not sure. My husband's playing golf that day and I need to collect the kids from school in the afternoon. What time were you thinking of going? What about lunchtime? Well, I was planning to meet a friend to go cycling in the morning, but she can't come, so I think I'm free then. OK, let's put it in the diary. Now listen again. I hear you've got a day's holiday next Wednesday. I was wondering whether you fancied a game of tennis. I'm not sure. My husband's playing golf that day and I need to collect the kids from school in the afternoon. What time were you thinking of going? What about lunchtime? Well, I was planning to meet a friend to go cycling in the morning, but she can't come, so I think I'm free then. OK, let's put it in the diary. 4. What is the woman interested in buying? Hello, madam. Can I help you? Yes, hello. I was in here the other week. You were showing me some of the rugs you have? Yes, I remember. Have you chosen one you like? I've changed my mind about that now. But I was looking at the sofa over there. I'm wondering whether it would fit in my room. I have quite a large cupboard and I'm not sure there's enough space. 
Could you tell me how long it is? No problem. I'll measure it for you. Now listen again. Hello, madam. Can I help you? Yes, hello. I was in here the other week. You were showing me some of the rugs you have? Yes, I remember. Have you chosen one you like? I've changed my mind about that now. But I was looking at the sofa over there. I'm wondering whether it would fit in my room. I have quite a large cupboard and I'm not sure there's enough space. Could you tell me how long it is? No problem. I'll measure it for you. 5. Why has the walk been cancelled? Hello. I'm phoning to tell you some disappointing news about the walk that we'd planned for this weekend. We've decided to cancel it because of the latest weather forecast. They say the snow that had been forecast isn't likely to arrive, but they're forecasting heavy rain, and we think it would make walking unpleasant. Never mind. At least there's going to be less wind than we've had, so we can use our umbrellas when we go out. Now listen again. Hello. I'm phoning to tell you some disappointing news about the walk that we'd planned for this weekend. We've decided to cancel it because of the latest weather forecast. They say the snow that had been forecast isn't likely to arrive, but they're forecasting heavy rain, and we think it would make walking unpleasant. Never mind. At least there's going to be less wind than we've had, so we can use our umbrellas when we go out. 6. What did the woman enjoy most about her holiday? Welcome home! Did you have a nice holiday? We had a lovely time, thanks. The hotel was OK for the price. Great! So what did you do? Well, the kids spent most of the time in the hotel swimming pool. It was lovely to see them having so much fun even though I can't swim and had to sit and watch them. On one afternoon, I had the best time of all taking some photographs of the local area, which was absolutely beautiful. Now listen again. Welcome home. Did you have a nice holiday? We had a lovely time, thanks. The hotel was OK for the price. Great. So what did you do? Well, the kids spent most of the time in the hotel swimming pool. It was lovely to see them having so much fun, even though I can't swim and had to sit and watch them. On one afternoon, I had the best time of all taking some photographs of the local area, which was absolutely beautiful. 7. Which day does the man want to meet? Hiya. I hope you're OK. I'm just calling about our night out next week. I know we'd arranged to go out on Thursday, but it looks like I've got visitors coming then, so I'll need to stay at home. Wednesday is usually a problem for me, but I finish work early that day, so I could meet then. Let's avoid Friday, though, shall we? I know you love going out on Fridays, but it gets so busy in town, doesn't it? Let me know what you think. Now listen again. Hiya. I hope you're OK. I'm just calling about our night out next week. I know we'd arranged to go out on Thursday, but it looks like I've got visitors coming then, so I'll need to stay at home. Wednesday is usually a problem for me, but I finish work early that day, so I could meet then. Let's avoid Friday, though, shall we? I know you love going out on Fridays, but it gets so busy in town, doesn't it? Let me know what you think. That is the end of part one.